Hey guys, welcome back to LA Noir. I love this game so much. Even though I'm not that great, I still think it's incredible. I'm excited to play it. I cannot wait. We are on the homicide desk still with our new partner, Rusty, who I actually kind of like. He's a little bit gruff, but he's seen a fair bit, so he's, a, he's allowed to be a bit grumpy at times. Maybe Cole will give him a ray of sunshine in his life perhaps okay guys let's get started with this episode the golden butterfly oh in a parking lot a lady is here at night time what is she doing <gasps> Okay, why? <laughs> That's what we're about to find out. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. <laughs> He's my partner, after all. <laughs> oh, I love it. Got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend them off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. <laughs> I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Okay. Let's go, best friend. Thank you for bringing me along. I know that we're partners, hey, but thank you. I've got new headphones today, so this everything is really loud now. I know I can turn the volume down, but it just sounds different. And excuse me, who are you talking to? Hey, don't mind me. Oh, he must be here for like what is that guy? I survived the war for this. Ah. He's just a bit grumpy, I think. I think that he's in here for questioning, and with that attitude, I'm not surprised. Rusty, where's my mate? Where's my mate? There you are. Where are we going, boy? What have we got, actually? The crime scene. We don't really know anything else right now. The murder victim, a female. You know what? Dumped in plain sight in the grass. You wait. Five years from now, all our jobs will be done by robots. <laughs> Five years from now? Look, not sure what to think so far, but dumping plain sight in the grass? Maybe the guy was very confident that he wouldn't get caught? You did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not bad for your first time at that. Thanks, Rusty. But don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. And no assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. We might get along after all. I think we will, Rusty. Okay, so go left at the next one. Okay. Let's go. I like him. He is very gruff, but like I said, he's seen a lot. He's dealt with a lot. I don't know about you, but I feel more comfortable with the siren on. What do you think? With the siren on? Okay. We'll give him a fun time if that's what he wants. <laughs> oh, here we go. 11 a.m. Boys. boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy is being completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex. Captain, of aren't Winters. there similarities between this <laughs> murder and the murder of Celine Henry, and of Elizabeth Short for so that matter? You don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to beat that? Be advised. 
We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the City of Angels. Yeah, right. <laughs> Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. Hmm. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. Does it have any link between be Celine Henry's around. murder? Shouldn't you be working? I don't I don't think so. Detective? Come on. I was first on scene. Okay, look, I've got a lot to do, okay? I've got a lot to do. I need Hello ladies. Here anymore. You shouldn't you shouldn't be overlooking the crime scene. It's not nice. All right. Clear this area immediately. What I miss? Ignore the reporters. Just get the juice from the reporting officer in the corner. Okay. All these cops. There's got to be something big, right? So what's going on over there? Never you mind. Never you mind, indeed. Okay, we got a little phone thingy there. Let's go and check this out. We have people everywhere. This is actually quite a large area that is blocked off. I wonder if that means that there's a lot of area that I have to search. There's police cars even all the way up here. Hmm. You know, it, it does give me very similar vibes to the previous one because she was just dumped in a park as well but however what we know cole doesn't know we know that we've seen the guy do it in a parking lot so that means that she must have been transported because there's no parking lot here is there so that is interesting Got footprints. The stomping angle in the Henry case. Was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want <gasps> was there in the story. Oh. Well, what size shoe are they then? What size shoe? Small men's footprints. Well, the, I don't have a size of that just yet. Definitely just trying to look around everywhere and make sure that I've found all the little bits and pieces that could be hidden nah okay i don't think there's much to I go off it. here but i think this lady has been transported to this location so we should whoa cold calm down boy we should be able to find evidence of uh cars involvement perhaps if we could find I don't know. We need to find the car that transported this poor lady. Her handbag. Deirdre Muller. Well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Back in a second. Oh, Parent Teacher Association. Okay. Does that mean? Maybe a disgruntled student's parent. If the motive was robbery, why not take the money? I don't think it was robbery. Okay, I think think I've looked in her bag. Can you run through the name and give me the details? That guy's on the phone down there. So what's going by who? On over there? Okay, so we've got an address now. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's go and check out the body itself. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Looks like she was tied up. Tied she does it first, up. Does so That would leave a mark on her other wrist too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Oh. 
Okay, something to keep in mind. Okay, um, there's an injury on her finger. A ring? What's this mark? A cut on the finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. You know what? This does feel a lot like the previous one with Celine Henry, but I really don't think it's the same killer. It could just be a simple case of a copycat. The poor lady. Look at her neck. Gosh. Look at your mark. It's very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. If that's rope, that is one massive piece of rope jeez I mean that's this is just honestly terrible you can see that she has been stomped on there's footprint marks all over her body detectives R&I says a Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband Hugo Mahler what I tell you Grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. Okay. What about not making assumptions and going <laughs> on the evidence? Can I talk to anybody? Here we Similar go. Remote. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch <laughs> your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we've got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. That is actually a really, really good thing to say there rusty i think you could be correct just going to have a quick look around in the bushes and just just around anywhere if i if i can find anything else but yeah i think that could be very possible we did see the lady in the parking lot but of course cole doesn't know that nobody else here knows that I think that the guy killed her in the parking lot, wherever she was turning up, and then drove um, drove her here. Tied her up and drove her here. Only one uh, wrist was tied. Does that mean oh, that God. she was tied big, to right? something? All right, I think we are done here, guys. We are going to head over to the husband's place. So, so last, last time, the husband wasn't involved. But now I'm wondering if the husband is involved. We need to check out his footprints. It's a small man's shoe. Didn't pick up too many clues. We've got the rope pattern, missing jewelry, and small man's footprints. Distinctive ligature mark. Yeah, that's a very distinct type of rope there. Missing jewelry. The wedding ring has been removed. It does... You know what? I'm thinking it was the husband. I think it was the husband. I think that he has seen what's happened with the last case. And he's done a simple case of copycatting. Here, you can drive, man. You're behind the wheel. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it is. He's copycatted this murder. He's killed Still his wife. Still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, that is. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? You know, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. Wow. 
That was so interesting. Look, Rusty, I'm beginning to think that maybe it's not the women that's the problem. It's you. <laughs> Third divorce. I really love how Cole sticks up for his wife, though. And I, I just, I love that about him. Here we are, the Muller residence. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What is burning in the backyard? Hey, there's a lady in there. Is it a child? That's a child. What's burning in the backyard? Is he burning evidence? No, but that is so weird. Like, why just burn that and there's no one around to supervise? Guys, the underpants look dirty. They have stains all over it. I know that they're white and it's hard to get white things cleaned, but they have stains all on them. Okay, you know what? I don't really see any evidence here. I see a little girl. There's no evidence around the outside. Okay. This must be the girl, the the mother's, or the lady's daughter, I think. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. That is sad. Thank you. So the father is, the husband's out. Can you out have a seat for me, Michelle? I'm looking for the mother, looking for the wife. Are they going to tell her without the father being present? I don't know if they should. We're going to have a look around. Yeah, I don't think that they He'll should. Be back any moment. Just sit tight. I don't think that they should be telling the little girl about the mother without the father well, home. This is going to help us. Don't forget mom's birthday. My it looks like. Will explain everything when he gets back, okay? Looks like a beautiful home, with. Hmm. I don't think this is any use to us. Like, it's obviously being taken care of. There's cookies. There's... Food. Halfway being chopped. Optimistic, Cole. Like, what sort of, um... A <laughs> lemon. Not everything here is <laughs> going to be relevant. Like, it, it, it's halfway in the middle of... Of cooking the meal. I want to take a look out in the garage, though, because I'm wondering if there's any strange rope out there. Oh, this is a little girl's bedroom. He didn't say anything about that violin. He normally says stuff, but I cannot seem to twist it in a way that denotes that it is anything useful. Maybe if Okay, the little girl's bedroom seems clean. And this is their bedroom. Oh, the shoes, the shoes, the shoes. What size? They don't look small. A size Brooklyn. eight. Size eight. Size eight, well that's not small. They do have dirt on the bottom though. But they are work boots, so... I 
don't think it's the same guy's... I, I don't think it's his shoes. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. Right. Elgin wristwatch. So that is the brand of the watch that we need to keep an eye out for. And that's probably her wedding ring box. No sign of a wedding ring. So missing the watch and the rings because they were taken from the body. looked around though I am still getting um, the funny music which makes me wonder if there's anything that I'm missing or if I just that just means I need to talk to the girl well I've had another sweep of the area couldn't find anything in particular Hmm, maybe I'll talk to the girl. I don't want to tell her about her mother. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I don't want to say that. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. I don't think that was right to say. <laughs> Do you think you could answer a few questions My for us? Gosh. I could try. Well, that was, that grief was over and done with. Oh, she's 15 years old. Okay, let's take a look at her. Okay, that's her regular face. She is looking down a fair bit because obviously she is upset. Daddy should be on his way. Okay, so we need to question her before her dad gets home. All right, let's, let's ask a few things. What about the state of the parents' marriage? Your mom and dad are uh, happily married. What are you saying? Of course they are. Oh. She did just look away a little bit. Mm, I think I might use doubt on this one. She knows a little bit more. Maybe she'll say that sometimes they argue. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Oh. Well, where is that brooch? Where is it now? When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but... She didn't show. So what did you oh. do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. I think that's the truth, though, because I know that she does sort of look down on her regular expression and she's keeping good eye contact. Look, um, the girl went to a dance at Belmont High. I think that is where the mother was when we saw her at the beginning in that parking lot and she is part of the parent teacher association i think she has something to do with this girl's high school um i think she's telling the truth this girl i think it's the truth and did he come and get you of course some boys offered me a ride home but that's not the right thing to do so you were hanging around the school for quite a while what happened with your father i don't know Hmm. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Oh, I got that wrong. Oh my gosh, I should have pressed doubt. But I thought that she was being truthful. Damn it. See, she looks away in a normal expression. Um. Okay, so the uh, her father eventually came to pick her up, but it took him quite a while to do so where was he during that time some of your mother's jewelry was missing can you describe her things a ring a watch 
I never paid much attention to that stuff. And now she's looking down and a little bit, you know? That's the same one that happened before and I got it wrong. I'll have to press down because she's looking the same way that she did before and I got it wrong. You seem reluctant to talk about her jewelry. It's a touchy subject with Daddy. What? He thought she wasted too much money on her appearance. Oh. I know this is a tough time for you, Michelle, but you should really try and help the police. I did terribly with that. Hey! What gives? Daddy, the police are room, here. Please, Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What the... But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. Hugo Muller, age 46. Give me a look at you. That's his regular face. He doesn't seem too upset, does he? Where are you? Please, if that's all, please just leave. I want to look at your feet. I want to make sure that your feet match. Um, gosh. I did so terribly with the little girl, and I don't know why. But I'll, I'll try my best. Footprints at the crime scene. Alibi. Alibi. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. Nope, it's not, is it? It's not correct. 90% of players chose the correct answer. But, guys, what about this girl, the daughter, calling home repeatedly with no answer? I think that's a lie then. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? It's your daughter that said so. Husband's alibi. Huh. So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. Wow. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Then why not admit that? Why not admit that? He's looking a little bit nervous now. He's starting to swallow. Hmm. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. You wear size eight shoes, though. He wears size eight shoes. Do I have the shoes here? But he did say, I think, you know, Maybe he doesn't remember what type of shoes he wears. Perhaps his wife buys them Mr. for Moore? him. Why would I lie to you at a time like this? You know what? I think he squashed his big feet into a smaller shoe. That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. You know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. <laughs> my gosh, I think it's this guy. I think he did it. He definitely seems dodgy. Missing persons report. So he filed that report. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. That does sound true. He's swallowing hard, though. Mm, I don't know if I have any other... Uh, why... Phoned it in this morning, though. Like, why wait so long? See, I think he's telling the truth here. But I think I'm going to press doubt because he just seems really twitchy. Did your wife ever go out by herself? To bars? Nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? Are you suggesting my wife's loose? 
Now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. Oh, I got that right. Yes, nice. I didn't think I would get that right. I thought that he would get angry and storm out. Okay, movements of the wife. Your wife went to pick up Michelle? Yes, that's right. I but yes, I think that is true. Because I think that's true. 2.4% of players chose the correct answer? What? That is so small. I do believe that the wife went to pick up the daughter. I think it's true, honestly. Where's the school? Belmont High on West 2nd Street. There's a parking lot next door where the parents wait for the kids. Yes, I got it. Yes, yes. Because that that's what we know is the truth anyway. Yes, I'm doing really well with this guy. History of violence. So we know that he has hit his wife once, the child said. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, God damn it. Well, it is because that, the butterfly brooch. I'll press a lie and tell him about the brooch. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. The butterfly brooch. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. <laughs> yes! Getting hostile with us is a we very so bad good. idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. <laughs> this is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind and don't make me come looking for you. Hmm. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! Okay, we have someone that really wants to speak to us. Okay, thoughts so far. Uh, the husband does seem that he has motive enough. He could have done it. But I don't think it's as simple as that. There's got to be more to it. Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator <gasps> earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look. There oh, he is now. Oh, I looked at the back thing. Oh my god, I looked at that burning thingy and nothing Step happened. Away from the incinerator. Here we Don't go. Let him get away. Here we go. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Damn it. Lock him up and throw away the key. <laughs> I thought that that incinerator thing was dodgy. Who lights a fire? Yes, come on, Cole! Yes! Yes! What's in there? Oh, the shoes! The small shoes! Whoa! This doesn't look good, Hugo. Whoa! I, I can explain the blood! Whoa! Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the cat. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't know. 
want home and... You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from mm. Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. That's so sad. The poor girl. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. I knew that was dodgy. Why couldn't I inspect it to start with? My gosh. Where's the little girl now? I'm just poking around her house. Oh, are you okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel terrible for her. For that poor little girl. Homicide division, badge number 564. Go ahead, detective unit. Can we get Ray Pinker and a technical services team to a house at 130 North Bonnie Bray Street? And send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Hmm. Roger, 11K. Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has report waiting. Please board downtown when he's available. Got it, KGPL. Oh. Hang on, we've got two places to go. Where, where should I go first? Isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got promoted? Tell me, tell me, where do I go? So what next? Carruthers has our girl on a slab. His report should be ready. Let's get down to the morgue. Okay, I'm glad I stopped. So we're going to the morgue first. That's where we're going. And you can drive, mister. You know the way. Yeah, you can drive. <laughs> okay. Less accidents, though I did see that he had an accident last time. I'm surprised you did. I didn't make the husband for it. Always make the husband, Phelps. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the Vic who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives in my day. Lex parsimonii. What? What? <laughs> the law of parsimony. <laughs> Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical on. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. <laughs> Appreciate it. And try this one on for size. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging it. Ah, uh, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. <laughs> Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away, that one. Okay. Well, then... Who was involved with her if it's not the husband? She must have been seeing someone on the side... I reckon she was seeing someone on the side. I don't know. The husband does seem dodgy. But I think there's more to it than that. There's more to it than that. But then what about the bloody f shoes? Maybe there was two people. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Hi, I hope you're having a nice day. This is a cool office. I like it. Look, you, you see this, um, the filing cabinets and the bookshelf. You know what? I can smell the wood smell on that. I don't know if you guys like can, can, can smell that, but it's so clear to me that deep smell of that wood. Phelps, Rusty. Thanks for coming. Hi. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Oh. Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Yes, please. please. <laughs> Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. Okay. Oh. A distinct rope pattern. Maybe that bottom one. Oh, no way. That's so cool. What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Okay. I don't think that's, I don't know if that's our rope because nothing's happening when I, when I use it. Nothing's happening when I use that either. I, I didn't think it would be the top rope. I mean, that's quite common that's so common i don't understand what i'm meant to be doing there so are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister 
Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was mm. Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Wow, okay. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. So that rope, the bottom rope, seems to be the one that we are focusing on. Rope pattern. That's got to be it, because that's the only one that they really spoke about. Oh, the shoes, the shoes. Nice. Hang on, that's two... Unless they just took two prints, that's two uh, left feet. The shoe prints? Size eights. Very similar to the impressions from the Henry case. Now, who do we remember who got caught in bloody size eights? I think we have our bird. Uh, I think it's more. I think it's more complicated than that, Rusty. I really do. Gosh. I definitely, I think it's more complicated than that. You know, I'm still getting music here. Does that mean I've missed something? Hang on, there is something. Oh, the body, We've the body. we got to nail this guy. Okay, if you're finished jawing, <laughs> we need to get moving. Okay. I still have music though, guys. All right, well, I think we're done here. I've tried to look everywhere. I don't think there's anything else to look at. All right, let's go. So now we're going to the high school, aren't we? Any ideas? Sounds like the broad got messed up between the house and the school. Mm. If you've been to the house, it's time to try the school. Yes, indeed. All right, let's do that. You drive, Rusty. Can you drive to this one? <laughs> car 11K, car 11K, come in. Is that us? Car 11K, car 11K, come in. 11K, go ahead. 11K, see the janitor. A green 1946 coupe registered to a Mrs. Hugo Moeller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School and Blaine Fields, 11K, code 2. Okay. 11K in route. Step on it. Okay. They found her car. So the car has been moved from the parking lot where we last saw her. We did see her parked neatly. Oh no, it's still there. Okay. It's still there. That's where we last saw it. This is the car? Yes, sir, detective. Have you looked it over? Superficially. I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. Oh. This was the same man? I don't know, sir. I mean, I'd like to say yes, but... Truth is, it was pretty dark. All right. Tell me about this man you've been having trouble with. He hangs near the playground, tries to befriend the children. He was around here last night before the dance. Is he violent? Yes, sir, I would say so, yes. There's a son of a bitch now. Oh, hey, I you. thought that was like a... Go, Phelps, I'll take the car and see <laughs> if I can cut him off. I thought that was a, like a detective guy in the background just looking at stuff. Apparently not. Oh, wow. You can still catch him. Go, 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 go. I'm going to see if I can do that tackle again. Go, come on, call. You can do it, my buddy. Where'd he go? There he is. Whoa, come on. Get out of the way, out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. I saved a whole year for that car. <laughs> Nothing happened to it. There's more important things to worry about than your stupid car. Come on, catch up, Cole. Yes. Yes. Go, go. Oh, yes, we got him. <laughs> yes. I love that. That's cool. That's cool. 
Hmm. What's your name? Who's asking? Hmm. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Do Strictly you know? Eternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. Hmm. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you oaky motherfucker. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Gross. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. <laughs> oh, Rusty, I like you. <gasps> You're under arrest, Eli. Oh, you my are God. In very deep trouble. No. No, this is way too obvious. I reckon he's found it. He's found it somewhere. I think he's found it. Why bother with the paperwork, Eli? I'm going to take out my gun and I'm going to count to five. Let's see how fast you can run now. Hang on a goddamn minute. I found that thing in the parking lot. Get some backup out here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I reckon he's found it. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red carpet. He's going to be popular in jail. I don't think it's him. I don't think it's him. I think he's he's found it. What do you think, what Rusty? Do you think? All right, search the car for physical evidence. Okay, mate. Let's have a look here. Okay, so we can't get in the car. Oh, the boot is the only place to go. <gasps> Oh my god. Well, that's the rope. Wow. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. Whoa. Wow. That's her dress that she was wearing. The overalls are stenciled HM. Oh no. That's not a dress. That's I overalls. What Eli does for a living. That's That's the husband's overalls no you know what i think this is a setup i don't think it's the husband hey that's the murder weapon it's from a chrysler could be important a chrysler now forgive me if i am mistaken but i feel that a chrysler is an expensive car advice rooney's on his way to the tank gotta make himself at home you should call in interesting okay let's think about this a little bit i don't think it was hang on i'm not getting any more like music so i think i've i think i've investigated this area enough um okay let's think about it so the lady was here she got out of the car to get her daughter um she got attacked from behind but where has the guy put her, the, the killer put her? If that tire iron is from a Chrysler, I think he's put her into his Chrysler. So it's a Chrysler that we're looking for. And then he's taken her to the place. But these dirty overalls, I think that whoever did this has either, I think he's planted the evidence. I don't think it's, I don't think it's the husband. I think he's planted that evidence. Have we finished in this area? Let's check. Yeah. Okay. It's finished. It's finished. Okay. So let's go and find a phone, which shouldn't be too far away. Yeah, I reckon that that guy has just planted that evidence there. Hello. Where's the phone? I thought that was a phone. It's just the the street lamp. What now? Rooney's on his way to the tank. Let him make himself at home. We should call in. I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thank you. Okay. 
beautiful. Okay, so now we have our interrogation set up. We need to go back to the police station. Um, oh gosh, you know what? I don't, I don't think it was the husband. I don't think it was the child molester guy. It's someone that owns a Chrysler. But who, who owns the Chrysler? I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car. He had her jewelry. The DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. He's a bad guy. And we let Mueller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for now. Uh, see, I don't agree with people's reasonings. They just seem to want to blame anyone and put anyone in the guilty seat, even though they may not have actually done it. They just don't really seem to want to go the full way and investigate fully. They just want to nail somebody, anyone. Well, who do I interview first? I'm stumped. Ideas? Back to Central, Phelps. Oh. One of these assholes will break under interrogation. I guarantee it. Did you just see that? It says charge a suspect with guy. murder. You better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. Oh we'll my the evidence rest. gosh. I, the rest. I don't Are know. Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Well, who do I go for first? I'm just going to think about this. We saw the bloody overalls in the back of the car. The rope is a particular type of rope, okay? Um, it, what kind of rope is it? Length of rope stained with blood. Okay, so that's that rope. And they said it was like a priest or someone that works on boats or something like that. The bloody tire iron is from a Chrysler. The overalls, I think they've been planted. You know what? I don't think it's the husband, hey? I don't think it's... You know what? I don't think it's either of these guys. Boys! Captain, now the DA wants uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. Oh. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally. Hmm. They also said that the rope could be from like a bell ringing thing. Is it this guy? Because he does seem to go on about God a lot. That's Are you ringing guy. bells in your spare time, guy. mate? <laughs> now that's an oxymoron for you. All right. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'm nervous. Okay, let's go for this you guy look like first. You've had it rough. See me asking for your sympathy, boy? Oh wow. Oh my gosh. That's what he looks like normally. That's what he looks like. He's not looking at me in the eye. I've done 14 years in and out of prison, son. You think you can outweigh me? You're wrong. Okay, he sort of has a bit of a cocky sort of expression. Access to the braided or oh, place of employment. Oh my gosh, what if he works on marine stuff? Okay, let's start from the top. I'm getting excited. Footprints. What size boot do you wear, Eli? Kind of like anything I get my hands on. That's not an answer. I'm wearing 11s. Yeah, but do they fit? Do they fit, though? 99.3%. <laughs> uh, oh, man. He likes anything he can get his hands on, but he's wearing 11s. What does that mean? Does that mean that he just wears whatever he can get? Uh, I'm just going to have to say truth because I don't know. I don't want to go and doubt him just straight away. But if you could choose, what size would it be? Yes. 11s. Oh, damn it. Bugger. See, that's what I was thinking. Because he said he wants to wear anything he can get his hands on. But what is his actual size? Bum. Place of employment. 
You're down on your luck, Eli. I have worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. Wow. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. What was your job? Okay, he's looking off to the side a little bit. I think I'm going to press doubt on that one. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. <gasps> you can't misplace big yellow letters HM out front. HM! Did they give you any work wear? That's you the like? overalls. Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hang on, but this is too obvious. He works in Marine. He's got the rope, the HM overalls. No, guys, this is too obvious. I don't think it's either of these people. <laughs> All right, rope. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go <laughs> calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. Ugh, I don't think I want to know. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. He's Answer disgusting. the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. <laughs> See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, <laughs> is it? Any old rope will do me fine. Is anybody making coffee soon? I think he's telling the truth. Yeah, any rope would do him fine. I think so. I think that is truth. Look how he's looking straight in the eye. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping. Am I right? I prefer braid. Tie hitching braid stays tied. Yes. Motive for the Muller murder. I don't know what his motive was. Maybe he was interested in the daughter. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. Ain't done nothing like that. Mm. If I go remove an answer here, then I'm gonna go remove an answer. Truth or doubt? What do I, what do I pick? Missing watch and rings, rope pattern, butterfly brooch, which he does have. Husband's alibi, bloody shoes, truth or doubt? I think, see, I think he's telling me the truth. I don't think he did it, you know, guys. I think he's an awful person. But I don't think he did it. No, oh, I'm gonna live to regret this, but I'm gonna hit truth. Come on, Eli. How else are you gonna pay for yourself? I got me a pension from the first war. It ain't much, but it does pay some. Damn it! I don't like you, Eli. Bugger. I think you're an evil man. Mm. I think you try to pass off your pain to other people. I can't make you for this case. But my consolation is that I don't think you will be out of prison for very long. You can count on it, shitbird. <laughs> By the way, Eli, the captain and the hat squad would like to talk to you next. Any idea what they might want to talk about? Bugger, so now money, I... You go Muller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. So now I have to charge the husband with this. Because I didn't charge... Eli. I think I've said about all I'm gonna say. Oh, guys, this one. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my sap. I don't think it I is drink. the child molester. I got the jitters again. Because I don't think he would do that to an older female. I. He's only interested in the younger ones, the children. He has no motive or reason to go killing Mrs. Muller. Help me out. For my money, Hugo Muller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think oh. it's time we hit him with it. What if I don't charge any of them? 
Guys, I don't know. I'm not convinced on either of them that did it. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. Yeah. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Guys, I believe him. I don't think either of these people did it. But one of them has to because that's what the game has said. We have to charge someone with murder. I don't think he did it. I don't think he's a nice guy. And that other guy is not a nice guy. Why, why are you just sitting there? Because I'm looking at you. That's his regular face. Okay. Oh, man. Disposal of evidence. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Hang on. He's looking around a little bit, hey. But I think that's the truth. Uh, I think that's the truth. But why is he looking around? I think that's the truth. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. What? The guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin them. It's... Oh, wow. This guy didn't... I don't think he did it, guys. What am I going to do? I don't think any of them did it. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. He's telling the truth. Do you know anything about braided ropes? Some. Uh, they're mainly used for um, mooring lines, hawsers, you know, that kind of stuff. We don't have much use for them in the machine shop. We use chain hoists. Oh, damn it. Damn it. What? Should I have pressed doubt on that? His answers seem legit. Maybe he's just a really good liar. Victim's vehicle recovered. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Maybe we need to go and look in your locker. I think he's he's looking around. I think he's I think I'll press doubt on that one. It was you, Hugo. I'm offering you a chance to come clean on this. For the last time, I did not kill my wife. Damn it. Then why look to the side? Oh, I'm I'm doing so badly at this one. So access to the tire iron. We know that it's a Chrysler tire iron. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. He's doing the same thing as last time, looking around. I think that's that's the same as last time. I pressed doubt. I got it wrong. So that might, that means this has to be the truth. This has to be the truth then. So someone mugged her and then took to her with their tire iron? Please. We... I don't want to think about it. Damn it. We're letting you go for now, Muller. Go home and see your daughter. And work on your story. It's got more holes than a batting cage. I haven't arrested any of them. That's the guy. Detective, that's him. That's the guy who parked the car. I'm sure of it. Hey, oh he's my away. God. That's not uh, true. I can't. I can't go to jail. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Apprehend. Oh, man. Are you serious? You know what? I still don't believe that it's him. I'm a sucker. Don't go to sleep on me. Give me back in close. I'm trying. I also don't want to kill anybody when I'm driving erratically. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. Whoa. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Damn it. Come on, go. I don't know. I don't know about this guy. I don't think it is him. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. But then running away like this, you're not gonna. It's not gonna look good. 
That was a good hit, and yet he just keeps on driving. I'm trying my best. Now is not the time to play around, Phelps. Whoa! Tram! Deuce ex machina. We got lucky, Russ. You and your goddamn Latin, Phelps. <laughs> what in hell's name's going on? Get out. Put your hands where I can see them. I mean, that just looks dodgy as to run away from the cops there, to run away from us. I'm still not totally convinced, though. But he seems to be the most guilty out of the two of them for what he just did. I feel sorry for the daughter. The little girl. I have to say I'm disappointed. I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution, and you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. Do it again and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. Find street criminals, rouse them, beat them, and restore some fervor to your police work. Your next case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here! What? What? Have we got demoted? Are we now back to traffic? Both of us? Are you kidding? Did I really do that badly? Well, the question's correct. Yes, I did that badly. Oh man, that is so bad. <laughs> that is so bad. Guys, this one, I loved this case so much, but I did really, really, really terribly with the questioning. I've managed to find all the clues, but the questions I just didn't get correct for some reason. I got a lot of questions wrong in the interrogation. Oh. This one has stumped me a bit. Some part of me thinks that neither of these guys actually did it. The first guy, the child molester, He's a bad guy, obviously he's a bad guy, but I don't think he had the motive of killing Mrs. Muller because that's not where his interests are. He wouldn't kill her just for some jewelry. He wouldn't waste his time. He would go after, you know, the young ones. The husband, Hugo Muller, Mr. Muller, he had a lot more of a motive, but I believed his story. I think that's why I was pressing truth so much there in the interrogation, because I didn't disbelieve him. I don't think he killed his wife. I don't think either of those guys did it. But one of them had to go to jail for it. But that 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 our big boss wanted to see the child molester go and not the husband. I think I really stuffed this one up. Phelps, we captured two regular army. Lieutenant! Phelps, we've been over this. That sniper <laughs> barely missed you back on the beach. Until the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rank. I'm in charge here, Medier. Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? I know they're beat. Why they look so sullen. You're wondering why we haven't killed them yet. There is no greater shame than being taken prisoner. Get this golden boy. I just seem to know what he's doing. Kiss him, man. Nani samadato. Umutarunda. See that boy? He slapped that Jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. I respect the Japanese, Corporal. Respect. We're here to kill the sons of bitches. Do you know why we are fighting the Japanese private? With respect, sir, these bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, private? Because they hate the U.S. of A and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. What would we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars? I think Cole is amazing. I love him. He, I, I really, I love him. I think he's awesome. 
Okay, guys, that is it for this episode. And I absolutely loved it, even though I sucked at it and I didn't do a good job. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I thought it was fantastic. I really, really loved this case. I'm so curious, though, about what other people actually picked. Did you pick the husband or did you pick um, the, the child molester weirdo guy? It, it, I have no idea which is the right one. I'm tempted to actually Google, but then I don't want to find any spoilers. So ugh, I may just not and, and wait for you guys to let me know like what you picked if you've played this. If you haven't played it, what would you have picked here? Honestly, it could have gone either way for me. I know that I had to arrest somebody for the murder, but I'm just not convinced at all that I picked the right person. I don't know. I, I don't know. But then th th there were so many evidence pointing towards the husband and the fact that he ran away at the end too. I mean, that just looks really bad. Oh gosh, I don't know. Can you actually send the other guy to jail or is it only the husband? Don't know, but I'm, I love it. <laughs> and I just love this game so much. I cannot wait to play the next case. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you again soon in the next video. Bye.